This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a hotkey for go to unmasked center when using the Gizmo 3D? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I just have this quick Z modeler well created here. And the question is asking about the Gizmo 3D go to unmasked mesh center. So if I come to the top here and activate move, scale, or rotate, this will activate the Gizmo 3D. And you'll see here, I have the bottom part of the well selected and my Gizmo 3D is floating out here in space. So I wanna take my Gizmo 3D and move it to the center of my mesh. At the top of the Gizmo 3D, there are these various icons. And if you hover over this icon right here, you'll see that the icon is labeled go to unmasked mesh center. So if I take this and now click on that icon, you'll see it's going to take the Gizmo 3D and move it back to the center of the mesh. So this will go to the selected subtools unmasked mesh center. Now let's say my Gizmo 3D may be out in space. So if I take the Gizmo 3D and I hold down Alt, this is going to unlock it, and then I can reposition it. So let's say it's all the way over there. So at this stage, I cannot access that icon on the Gizmo 3D to bring it back to this mesh's center. So I want to assign a hotkey to it. So when I click that hotkey, it'll go right back to the center of the mesh. So to assign a hotkey to that button, what we need to do is go to the tool palette and then go down to the masking area. And in the masking area, there is a button called go to unmasked center. So this button here is going to do the same functionality as clicking that icon on the Gizmo 3D. So if I come over here and click this button, the Gizmo 3D is gonna go right back to the center of that selected subtool. So let's do that again. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and just move the Gizmo 3D out in space. And then if I click go to unmasked center, you can see it's gonna go right back. And if I do that same process by clicking this icon here, you can see I'm gonna get the same effect. So now we have a button in the UI that we can link a hotkey to. So when we press that hotkey, it will click this button here, and then it'll take the Gizmo 3D and position it back to my model. So to set a hotkey for this button, what we need to do is just hold down Control and Alt on our keyboard, and then click the button. After this is clicked, you'll see at the top here, it's gonna say press any key combination to assign a custom hotkey. So after clicking this, I'm just going to now press J on my keyboard. And now this will assign this button here, the hotkey of J. So if I hover over the go to unmasked center button, you'll see it's going to show that J has been assigned as the hotkey. So now if I'm working in ZBrush and now press J, you'll see that the Gizmo 3D is now going to activate the go to unmasked center button here. And the Gizmo 3D is going to go to the center of that mesh. So I can move this out, move it around, I could be zoomed in, and I could just press J on my keyboard, and you'll see that the Gizmo 3D is going to go right back to that space. So this can be anywhere in your scene, and now that hotkey is set up, as soon as I press it, it's going to go right back to the center of the mesh. Now after you have that hotkey set, you now want to store this. So the next time you start ZBrush, that hotkey of J will be remembered to correlate to this button. So to do this, we just need to go to the Preferences palette at the top here. We then just need to go to the hotkeys area. And now we just need to click this store button. So this is going to take any hotkey changes that you've made and it will now store it into ZBrush's UI. So the next time you start ZBrush, those hotkeys will be remembered. And then you can reload a model, press J, and that Gizmo 3D will go right back to the unmasked center of the mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag Ask ZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.